today we're gonna create the best ship you can create in starfield um at least according to me it's gonna have tons of cargo more than you'll probably ever need um it's gonna have um well some of the best weapons the best reactor the best shield the best grab drive and above i think 600 fuel tank capacity um it's gonna be a class c ship so you'll need piloting rank 4 and since we're using all of the best components you'll also need starship design rank 4 um the first question that might come to you is how am i gonna get the skill points for that um i'm just gonna leave the best xp farm you can do uh, uh the link in the description for that um the well this basically uses that adaptive frame method where you you know just craft hundreds of adaptive frames but um i'm gonna like the video i'm gonna leave down is gonna have the easiest way you can actually find a spot which has both metals so you can just get to extracting and then just create the stuff um uh obviously and uh you'll also need to rank up the piloting skill and the starship design so the best way to do the piloting skill is to just go to the simulator that's there in the UC Vanguard uh, head office, basically masked. Um, just go to an elevator there, go down to the uh, simulator floor and just uh, rank up the piloting skill there. Um, the Starship design skill, however, will require a little bit of traveling. The three best places that I would suggest would have to be uh something like uh the neon star yard where you can you know just land down in neon go to go talk to the ship technician he's gonna have three uh brands in neon um something like uh stroud eckland uh nova and obviously tire um uh, just use all of the habitats that are available in all of these um you uh once you're done with that you should have enough just near this guy because tayo itself has multiple habitats that you can use um i'm asking you to use habitat specifically to change up in a ship because uh habitats are basically the cheapest components that you can use obviously there's more uh structurals as well that you can put in but obviously like just find the balance between these and build uh, random ships just use the cheapest uh, grab drive you can get, the cheapest reactor you can get. And you should save up a bunch of money just doing that and leveling up. Once you're done leveling all of that up, just follow this video. Uh, I would suggest you visit the... Wait, yeah, the demo star yard. Once you're there, um, obviously just like dog them, go in. Once you're in the shipyard, just go straight, um, go to the side a little, just go down, there'll be like Tao Henderson waiting for you there. Um, he's the one who'll have all of the components we'll be needing, almost all of the components that we'll be needing today to build the ship. If you can't just tell me like to view and modify, make sure you already have a ship in your inventory that you're ready to let go of. For me it's this, it's just a pirate ship, I don't really care. Delete all of the components. Um, add. The first thing we're gonna add is gonna be the cockpit. I usually go with the best Phobos cockpit they have. It has that fighter jetty look to it. Um, we're gonna add two levels to this. Um, the first thing is gonna be a companion way to give it that uh, length. Um, on top of that, we're gonna add a structural item. It's gonna be the demos cowling for just add that because it just you know connects everything to that streamlined body that the cockpit already has um to this we're gonna add all of our halves now um the first half i usually like to ha add is the uh, control station which has all of those uh crew stations um on top of that is where i usually like to add the um captain's quarters which has the bed for that 10 to 15 percent xp boost that you can get by sleeping um to the sides of this we're gonna add companion ways i usually just add it to the bottom side because i include all of the cargo and stuff on the top um just do that um add two companion ways on each side 
and just select both control G duplicate them and drag and drop here once you're done with that um, add the all-in-one births so I add the workshop on one side and the um, science lab on the other control G bring that over to here and change the variant to science lab by pressing the left arrow so once the science lab is also in all of our tables are there we have the bed ready and all of our proof stations are there as well and we obviously get two more proof stations from here um you can also make this a double uh, layered or uh, double layered wing if you want to i don't really prefer that i like how this looks because i can just add structurals to make it look better on top um the next things we're gonna add are gonna be the cargo which we're gonna do right on top of the i mean right next to the wings um just go to cargo we're gonna add four of these you can obviously add lesser if you want to or more if you want to um uh, if you want more of that mobility and less uh, that's that can only happen if you have lesser mass um what i like to do is add these ones they have about uh, 200 in mass and yeah that kind of gives us more mobility while also giving us about 4000 cargo space which i think should be enough but you know you can add the other variants as well um but to give it a more streamlined look let's 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 just go with the 30t that has good look like it matches the demos uh set there um just duplicate that and flip it till it fits like that and do that on both sides that there control g put that down down there flip it there we go we've got that perfectly done uh, we're gonna add about uh, four structurals i mean two on both sides but at a later time but right now this place doesn't really have the structurals i'm looking for to give it that nice look but yeah we're gonna add more of those later anyways um and now we're gonna add all of our reactors and whatnot uh just go to the reactor section the sf40 is the best one just put that in the middle um on the sides we're gonna do grav drives on one side the best grav drive for this one to give it that maximum uh jump range would have to be the j51 considering all of the weight we could do the j50 but the weight on that thing is kind of weird so uh, i mean the weight that can handle is very less so i, I i'd say you just go with the 45 one the 51 then to this we're gonna add our fuel tanks as well the 900 t should do uh, to give you that maximum jump distance just make sure it's aligned with all these three um we're uh, now gonna add the engines on both wings don't add the middle ones yet the best looking ones are at another place um we're gonna add the main ones now uh with the side ones now i usually like to go with the nova engines um these have that nice uh, wing type look um just press r to raise it Control G and then place that there. Flip it and then place that there. And to leave to reduce that ugly notch that's there on top, what I do is um usually just add a structural, the BMOS hull here. This works out pretty good because we're gonna add our weapons to the wings. So um all the horizontal and the equipment uh mounts that go will just go on to the sides here and we can just add our weapons there and on the front i use i like to add the cowling for gas and to the front of the habitat is where i add the braking engine this is how i design my wings um just press control all that just press on all three control g and drag them to the other side and place them perfectly like that once all of that is done, our, uh, it's time to add the landing bay and whatnot. Um, all right, uh, let's just go over to the bay. I just add the demos one. 
just put that over there to the front right next to the cockpit so that you won't have to walk too much once that is done um we'll need about five landing gears for this thing uh just add the demos ones like that um, Control G. Oh. One more there and one more on the wing again. Once that is done, that should do all of our uh, landing gear as such. The only thing that's missing is the docker, which we can get from here. Um, just press G go to the docker section and get the slim docker that's available there this one once that is also done um all, all the things we can do here are done for now though the mobility and all less that will increase once we add all of our engines onto this thing so just accept it and save that here yep i'm done you get serious about your... just go over to neon Once you are in Neon, just walk straight to the ship services technician. We're gonna add a bunch of stuff here as well. Hey, what can I do for you? Um, Need some just workshop? talk to this guy, tell him you'd like to do sure. more about the ships. Alright, once we're in here, the first thing we're gonna do is attach the engines. Obviously, because that is basically what we came here for actually. Um, just go. I, I usually like to go with these ones. I think those give that, that nice fighter jet y look, engines wise at least. Just control G, carry this side. It's only gonna let you have four of these and not any more than that. Um, this gap, I suggest you fill it with the, these structurals, um, let me just take it out, oh, yeah, the tire spines, I like to have the B ones, um, you can obviously have the other, uh, the A ones as well, the B ones have this one advantage that, you know, you can basically have this extra space on top where you can mount weapons if needed, control G and copy that here. And on the front, we're going to remove this ugly hair here. We're going to go with the shroud caps. Just do that on all four points. You know, flip it till it fits properly. Control G. Flip it till it fits on this side as well. And then the same thing. Just flip it till it fits. And there we go. That gives it a nice streamlined look. Um, once all of that is done, it's time to mount the weapons. Um just add a uh, wait no shit that is actually where we're gonna add the shield um just add the equipment plate here and here and one on each of the wings as well and on the wings on the sides we're gonna do horizontal weapon mounts just do the same thing on the other side as well oh yeah there we go and once that is done, just select all three, control G to duplicate them, and then just carry them over to the other side and place them on the other wing as well. So on in the middle part, we're gonna do the suppressors. Um, the best suppressor you can get in game is this one, the Tatsu 501 EN. Just do that on both the both the spines that we put in um on the sides on one side we're going to do the ballistic weapons in which in my case is going to be the gauss gun you can obviously go for the normal rapid rail guns as well all in you uh, just go with the auto gauss gun if you want the multi uh the rapid fire ones or the normal gauss gun for the single shot ones i i just go with the mke 9a auto gauss gun just put those on the sides 
And on this side, we're gonna do the best laser weapons that the game can give us. Just press G. Go down a little. There should be the Razor 300, which is basically the best pulse laser that you can get in here. And then just duplicate that, put it on its side. Again, all of these turret versions are the ones that are the automatic weapons you might be might have been seeing on the internet. That's basically about it for those. Um, and here we're gonna add the shield. And the best shield is the Assurance, well, the Assurance SG2000. Which is gonna reduce our mobility by a lot, but, uh, well, we're still gonna have 83 mobility while having 4,280 cargo. And if you still want to add more cargo or something somewhere, there's these parts where you can do that. I'm just going to show you which ones you're going to have as an option. Um, yeah, basically all of these. So every time you add something that has a mass of close to 100, you're going to lose 5 in mobility. I would suggest you not do that if you want that really good mobility feel to the thing. I prefer that. Uh, I like it a lot, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Again, completely your choice. Whatever you want to do. Um, so the final thing, the only thing actually that's left is assigning the weapons, coloring the ship and renaming it depending on whatever you want to do. So the first thing you want to do to assign weapons is go to flight check, go to weapons here. You'll be in the messages part. By default, go to weapons. And then just assign whatever you want. The W01 is the left click. I like my lasers there. W1 is the right click. I like my ballistics there. And the W2 is your, um, basically your uh, tertiary weapon, which is G on your keyboard if you've gone with the de default settings. That's where I'm going to do the suppressor because that's the one I'm going to use the least. And then just press uh, G to rename the ship. And then G again to be able to type that. I'm going to name mine the Praying Mantis. Well, because, I don't know, just felt like naming it that. And it's kind of a homage to the first fighter jet I, I had in my uh, fleet. The Mantis. So I'm, I'm just going to name that that and just press confirm twice. And yes, that is about it. The only thing that's left is selecting your colors. I like to go with the uh, black, that really dark green where you can't really almost tell it apart, but you can kind of, you know, like just that right balance. And then for color three is where I like to go with the gray. So just select a lightish blue and then just take that to the end till you can't almost discern it from black but it is still there just do that and well press enter your ship is done so to test this out i'm going to take us to the serpentis system press accept when you're done press h to make this your home ship by the way if you're going to go to test it out and I specifically go to the Serpentis system because that's where all these uh, Varun Zerats always pop out when I travel there. So just go to your map. It's in the right top corner of the map almost. Uh, this is the Serpentis system. This like bright. And then not uh, once on to the right arm that bright. So just click on that. Press X. Don't go to a specific planet. Let it just take you to its default place. Just jump there. And you I should be able to find some Varun Zels. I usually almost always find them. I'm hoping you will too. Um, the engine should have about um, 3 points less than its mass power. EM should have only about 5. Ballistics, just take it as high as you can. There you go. Our Varun people are here. Um, obviously the shield has to be at its best. And yeah, this is the configuration I usually do it. And then this kills shield now. Well, the shield is there, but he's running away. Uh-huh. I think he can run away from you or you've got something else coming here. Look at that, look at that, look at him. Look at him, guy. 
there we go the guy's dead he's he's gone he's no more <laughs> obviously like uh, just enter the targeting system and then use your em if you want to board the guy and steal the ship but i just wanted to show you how much damage the ship can actually deal and it's quite a lot i mean that guy was a level 38 ship and well it was as easy as cutting through butter and he's dead hope you like the video and the ship model um do hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be releasing quite a few ship models depending on your um well on the level of the starship design rank that you have and obviously the well on your piloting skill and all three classes of ships basically for each rank of uh, starship design the best ships that you can get in that and the places you have to go to to get them Thank you.